In last week's Parsha, we saw that King Balak hired Bilam, the evil sorcerer, to curse the Jewish people. Spectacular failure. God turned all the curses into blessings, and Bilam looked like the biggest loser on the planet. But then he made an unbelievable comeback. He went to plan B. He said, Balak, the God of the Jewish people hates immorality. Send the women of your country out to seduce them. That will work. Balak, according to the measure, said back to him, how am I going to convince the women of my country to do that? That's depraved. And Balaam said to him, send your daughter. If the princess goes, the other women will follow. And Balak did it. Balaam even scripted it out for him, how to go about doing this. And Balak told his daughter how to do it. Set up tents, a marketplace, have an older woman on the outside selling linen garments to the Jewish men because they like to buy those, and then have a younger woman inside to seduce the Jewish men when they come to buy. And that was the plan. But then the women went further, presumably at the direction of Cosby, the princess. The women added idolatry to the list of sins. They said to each one of the Jewish men, we will not submit to you unless you worship the idol, Peor. In fact, the Talmud tells us that Cosby, the name of the princess that we're told at the beginning of this week's Parsha, was not her actual name. It was a nickname. Her real name was Shevilnai. She was called Cosby for a couple different reasons. One of them was that she said to her father, in connection with this episode, Kosbi Amze, slaughter this nation through me. She was thinking, once I'm there, seducing the Jewish men, I might as well add on idolatry. I might as well make sure that their God will kill them. And she was very successful, unfortunately. 24,000 men of the tribe of Shimon were killed in a plague as a result of this episode. So what lesson can we tease out from this? Maybe we can apply the same mindset. Just like Cosby, you know, I might as well once I'm here. Once I have gone to shul to pray, I might as well stay for a little extra while, in the morning, in the afternoon, and or in the evening. Five minutes, learn a Mishnah, learn a law, a halacha. Once I'm writing a check to charity, I might as well add on a few bucks, 18 bucks, 36 bucks, 180 bucks, a zero at the end if you can. Once I'm doing a chore for a spouse or parent, favor for a friend, I might as well do an extra one. I might as well do even more than they asked. I know they'll like it, they'll enjoy it. Cosby realized how powerful it can be to add a sin to a first one once you're there. It's got to be more powerful to add a mitzvah to a mitzvah you're already doing or to do the one you're doing in an even better fashion.